Well, hey, hello again. This is uh, Riverwind of the North, working on another project and figuring, you know, for the near future, probably best to start a little library of how to live in the North, in the woods, in the wilderness of Alaska. So what today I'm doing is I am cutting the nubs off this, my future um, uh, Adobe TP guest house, because I'm creating a little, <laughs> healing retreat up here so I got uh, five of them already did here one of them already drug over with my four-wheeler with Buck Buck my four-wheeler anyway as you can see we got these nubs and stuff that we got to take off that way they're not poking anything and then when I get it set up if I wanted to I could find sand them with my sander but anyway, I got four of these left. They've been sitting up here for about a year, drying out and getting a lot lighter. Very, very heavy a lift to start with. So I've been cutting the nubs off that. And let's go over here. I got, see, these ones are already done. They need, some of these will go on the teepee. Others aren't quite big enough. So I even got this big one I got to peel as well, and that's going to go to my two-story adobe teepee that's going to go way in the back back there. Okay, let's take a quick walk over here and tell you how fun it is to work on projects like this and what you have to have and what you got to do in order to protect, number one, your body. <laughs> so when I got this, uh, when I got Buck, oh my gosh, talk about exciting. So I've already got the rope hooked up and I had to climb way up in this tree and I don't know if you can see it but there's a pulley that I left up there from last year when I had these other poles up there. So in order to keep these logs from rotting what I have to do is put them up, stand them straight up and if I'm going to lose anything, I'm going to lose a little bit off the bottom, but that's okay. I made them a little longer for that purpose. Anyway, this is the one that I just finished not, uh, taking the nubs off of. And it's ready, and it's still too heavy to be trying to push up with my back. And uh, boy, if you lose your back up here, it's over. <laughs> you cannot live in the wilderness like this and do what I do and have a bad back. So... You got to protect yourself with everything you are and everything you do. So anyway, I'm going to run that rope over this uh, uh, log going across there. And it's going to attach probably around, let's see, probably around here. And then I'm going to pull that up. But the problem is once I start pulling... It's going to, because of leverage and stuff, this bottom of the log is going to tend to go way over here. So what i got to do is i got to get another log or something to put between these two trees here so that when it pulls this way, it's going to hit it, and then it should stand up just like it did last year. It took a long time to get that down and had it hooked on this one smaller tree for the pulley and, and about ripped this tree down. But i got two dead trees here. So, well, one's almost dead, so I'm going to cut these out now just to get them out of the way and cut these doggone nubs out of the ground. I keep tripping on them. And uh, go from there. I got some future windows over here for my solar greenhouse. It's going to go in the front of the house over there on this side of uh, the pantry and office I got. You could kind of see it through there. But that's, uh, that'll be another video window. For the library. Anyway, uh, I just thought I'd fill you in here and I'm going to start cutting and uh, put this together and might just get a picture, maybe not a video of it standing up, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, have a good day. Blessed be.